Good, me good evening, everyone. This is uh, Reverend Dr. Cynthia Rea, and this is Wednesday Night Bible Study. Uh, Y'all know I like the sun, so I have to turn it down because it bothers my head to be in it too much now. Uh, so, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the word that you bring to us. We thank you for the word that uh, you have given to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, through the Synoptic Gospels, which is the four Gospels that means Matthew, John, Luke. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for Apostle Peter, as upon the rock he built the church, and you said, Thou art Peter. And upon this rock I build my church. Before that, you told Peter that he would deny you twice. And he did. But then Peter came back in Acts and showed you, Lord God, how powerful the Holy Ghost would work through him as Jesus had foreseen. Now, we do have Apostle Paul that has written some books, epistles in Acts. But Peter is where Jesus decided to place the foundation with. He also decided that uh, he called Peter out to carry the foundation. He, but in the beginning when he was here, he trusted Judas with the money and then he also trusted Judas that he would betray uh, him in order to bring forth the gift of salvation to man, God's only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, died and rose on the third day. He was crucified and died and rose on the third day. All right. Now, this is what I'm going to say about Ephesians chapter 6. And this is how we're going to look at it. Because our Father in heaven, and Jesus told us when we pray, we pray, we pray our Father in heaven. When well, Ephesians chapter 6 puts us in the same thing as parenting with children because God has always been um, working with the children of Israel as the apparent light in God um, guide throughout the ages. All right, let's go with Ephesians chapter 6. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with their promise, that it may go well with you, and that ye may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. By service, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ, not by the way of our service as people pleases, but as bond service of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not to man, knowing that whatsoever good anyone does, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether he is a bond servant or is free. Masters do the same to them. And stop your threatening knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven. And that this is now her her reality with him. So that was Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 through 9. Okay. So, when we're looking at this, this is salvation for us. So, God says, come to me as a little child. What he's thinking about is the pure in heart and pure in mind. Not a child, not us going back into our mother's womb and being reborn again. We are reborn again when we yield ourselves to the Spirit of the Lord, which is the Holy Ghost, God's Spirit. The one true spirit that has been around since the beginning has been around with God and in God and of God and about God and the word of God and the word made flesh through God 
in the name of Jesus because Jesus bestowed him as a gift to us as a comforter to keep us and he says no let not your heart be troubled you believe in the father believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it was not so I would have told you I will prepare a place for you and when I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that is the 14th chapter of St. John that is like a parent talking to their child and Jesus is our Savior and He is over us. He is the ministry in the world today for man. He is. Jesus returned with a number no man could know. That is Revelation 19 and 7. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So if we confess the Lord Jesus as our Savior and he is rightful and just to forgive us of our sins. And that we sin not against the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Ghost, which is God's Spirit. We are sealed unto the day of redemption when Christ returns, which, which is honored by saying, Hallelujah, the 24 and 4 elders in the book of Revelation. We need to understand that salvation is just. It's not just for the Jewish man, as Paul first started writing, but Peter established it like Jesus did when Jesus says, I go to the Gentiles. You know, and Paul outright called us heathens, worrying about what we should wear, what we should have, because at the time, Gentile Christians was considered nothing and beneath. But when the Holy Ghost fell upon us and we began to speak in tongues, the manifestation and we began to speak in tongues, Paul said, how can I not baptize them, realizing and not sinning against the Spirit of God, realizing and baptize them for the remission of sins in the name of Jesus. So Jesus is come for the remission of our sins through his blood because he was pierced in his side. And blood and water flow out of his side. That the ever living waters of Jerusalem might flow. Not just for the um, original Apostolic Church that follows Jesus. You know, I always talk about the fifth church, Sardis, in the book of Revelation. It's just S A R apostrophe hyphen D I S. Because though some of them we are known by most names, death and life, we are known by many names. But in the end, Christ took us, some of us, not all of us, some of us, that gave our life to him. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for salvation. We thank you, Christ, for rendering your love to us. As you were passing judgment on the seven churches, the ministry of Christ kept going. Because the Spirit of the Lord and the people that are for Jesus marching in the way, forsaking their sin, and marching in the way, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we honor you on this place of Bible and I study, and if anyone would like to give their life to the Lord, now's the time to let Jesus know you are my Savior, you are my Lord, and there is no other way but to God through you. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And so we must march that way. We must march that way. We must march that way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We must march that way. That is our way. The one true way to God, our Father in heaven. Amen.